All right, who, so Susan, Minerva, Callie, Brittany, McKinney, McKinney, am I saying her name right? Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> cool. Um, so we kind of just wanted to do like a super, obviously these are only 20 minutes, so it's pretty short, but kind of just wanted to help you guys like set goals with this whole thing. And okay. so that you kind of push, know what you're pushing for. So you guys can just kind of go one-on-one -on -one and tell me what your goal is with this group. And I'll tell you from what I think, if you can push more or how maybe to do the, go about making the small goals into that. So McKinney, you can just go first since you're. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. So as far as like this group, I feel like I've kind of stuck to knowing like the same coaches, like in Melissa's little not little, but big group. And so I'm excited just to like know other personalities with coaching and like glean from that and be pushed by that. Um, definitely have like rank goals. I've been in world far too long. <laughs> um, so we're really wanting to like just push the business. And so I'm just super excited for all the accountability um, and ready to just like learn and glean and take it all in from not only the girls like I'm paired with, but from like you guys too, from like all the trainings and stuff. So I'm like open to all of it. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been coaching? Um, almost a year. It'll be a year next month. Okay. Is Melissa yeah. your coach? Uh huh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's awesome. So you're emerald. You said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm okay. so close to diamond, but it. I okay. Think How many people do you need to get to diamond? Like, what do you need? I need to get um. As of right now, I need to get my active coaches that are coaching actually running the business to emerald. And then I'll pretty much be set. I think I need one more on my right leg. So I have any, like this and struggling with them. Obviously, it's not their responsibility to stay active. And so just trying to like build it strongly on each side. Um, so my husband is still, I have him signed up. He's still just a regular coach. So I have two other really that are only um, running the business. I've had some that have started and like just did it for hobby and faded out, which I hear is normal, but it's yeah, you know, it is annoying. And it's it is yeah, but I mean, so many people that go diamond, it's a whole lot of them controlling a spouse account or a mom account, and that's just normal. Yeah, and at some point, people do start to find people that do work the business. Um, so my for everybody, if you guys have coaches that need to get out, <laughs> pumpkin or not pumpkin spice, peppermint mocha comes out Friday. Right. Out to every single one of your coaches, challengers, message them privately, email them, however you talk to them, reach out to every single person and just let them know you guys, it tastes really, really good. Um, and just let them know that a brand new, like limited flavor is coming because if they order one box, that, yeah. that would make them active. So that could be a yeah. perfect leeway into helping them just get active and getting started again. So I would reach out to every single person and just let them know that it's coming. It's probably going to sell out fast, you know, so just let them know that. And then just talk to more and more people about coaching. Like so many times we just talk about challenge groups and I'm guilty of it too. Sometimes mm -hmm. we just talk about challenge groups all the time, but not just straight up talking about coaching. We're not going to get coaches if we don't talk about it, you know? So you just have to be confident in, in that and you'll totally get there. So that's super awesome. When's your actual like diamond date, like gold date? I want to hit before my first anniversary. So <laughs> in the next couple of weeks, like for sure. Okay. Um, and I think like, I don't, it's so obviously this is just going to grow and like, as far as like mentoring other coaches and stuff and like, I think the struggles of like knowing how much like to push them without pushing them away. And I've talked to Melissa a little bit about this because it's like, you want to like relate with them, but you also want to be like a leader, which means you're a little bit more above them as far as like just pushing them and encouraging them. But it's like, I think I'm struggling with the line of like, okay, how much do you like breathe belief in them and like call them out and encourage them, but not like, you know, totally overwhelm them or like, well, crap, I didn't realize this is all it is. Like, <laughs> Yeah. And then they just and, stayed out. So. You know, and I don't think there's a perfect way to do that because we don't know always. Right. I always try to ask my coaches, like, how are you motivated? Do you want some tough yeah. love? Are you the person that needs a little more like coddling? Do you know what yeah. I mean? 
-hmm. But then sometimes people just need tough love. And you just be like, hey, you said you want this. Make it happen. You know what I mean? Like, you got to, like, see where they're, meet them where they're at, too. But also, we can only, you guys, we can only breathe so much belief in people. But seriously, you guys, at the end of the day, if they don't believe they can do it, it won't happen. So it's just, at the end, like, they just have to know that they can actually make it happen. So it's just that fine line of how much to stick with somebody. Obviously you always stick with them, be there to help answer them, but you still have to go and find new people and find new people. So don't depend on eight people to get you the diamond. So just keep yeah. asking people. Yeah. So I would say like diamond by like November 13th, two and a half weeks. Yeah. Okay. I think mm -hmm. with peppermint mocha coming out, that's totally doable from what you've already told me. I'm ready. <laughs> yes. And you guys, I always tell my coaches, it's so much easier to just go and just go balls to the wall, go as fast as you can to, re to reach a goal. And it's stressful and sometimes it sucks in the moment, but instead of just kind of going, kind of somewhat doing it, signing a coach and then one person falls off, signing two coaches, one person falls mm -hmm. off. That's way harder. It's so much better just to go fast, as fast as you can. Get to your or play thing. <laughs> in and out. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Love it. So Perfect. anyone else? Sue. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> um, so my goal is I should be back to Diamond on Thursday. Yes. Um, as far as I was looking on my my uh sponsorship drill down I think I've got that active where I've got that that coach um coming in. and then like you said I'm just messaging a lot of the coaches that are inactive to see if they want the um peppermint mocha yeah um my it's goal is so good like I am not even like a huge cafe latte fan I know you like it Sue oh I love it I know but the peppermint mocha it tastes so good I don't even know what they mixed it with when we tried it but it was so good <laughs> so I'm they like didn't tell you like well, it was on there. I just didn't read it. I don't know why, but it was, it tasted really, really good and sweet, but not too sweet. It was, I was actually really surprised of how like good it was. So I'm super excited about it. So I feel completely confident telling all my coaches and people that they should absolutely get it because it is really good. So just that way. Um, okay. Do you have a diamond or an emerald on your right? Dean is Dean is an emerald. Okay, so on your other leg. And so Aaron should be. No, Aaron, Aaron fell off. Yeah, so I think Aaron has enough coaches. She's just not active. So maybe just reach out to her. Maybe she'll order something or whatever you want to do. Um, she okay. probably totally would. So I would just reach out to Aaron. I'm pretty sure the last time I looked, she has enough. Yeah, active. she has enough to be an emerald. Yeah. yeah, so maybe just reach out so that she's active herself that's what i have to do huh yeah you need an emerald on that side oh. that's why i didn't yeah so just fyi <laughs> okay yeah but, i'm not thinking straight yeah you got time so you're good <laughs> so diamond this week yeah then what's your next and then plan? get back to one star by where i was just trying to look at my calendar here uh Hang, I'm sorry. You're good. I want to get back to one star by the 13th. Okay. So with Aaron or with Dean? Dean. Okay. Yeah. I think that's good. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And then honestly, I think once Aaron has her baby, it'll, she'll be, she'll be back in. So just yeah. encouraging her. So. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Yes. I, yeah, totally doable. Because Heather solid emerald on Dean's leg, really, like, you just need a few coaches and emerald for Dean. Yeah. Okay. And I Super Saturday for some of your new coaches coming, so that'll be fun. Yeah, I have I have two. I'm trying to get three, yeah. one more to come. I'm trying to get Swayze to come, so. Yes, that'll be super fun. Yeah. Um, okay. Sounds good. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. So either Cowley or Minerva.
yeah, you're muted. <laughs> so my goal is um, to get back my two star and um, and the year premiere. So that's like my long, yeah, my, my long term goal. Um, so I'm just trying to like help my coach. I have one working coach who's legit working and a couple of other who are kind of working, but they're not really working. <laughs> um, so, um, I guess that's, that's mostly what I'm trying to do is just, you know, zero in on the income producing activities and just, you know, keep my, just keep doing keep that up. because yeah. my, my life is just total turmoil with my schedule and everything. Like it's just a total new world for me this semester. So I'm just trying to, um, not drop. I mean, I'm not going to drop my diamond. Like I, I have, I'm not going to drop diamond cause I I'm very stable, Yeah. but it's, it's messing with me mentally. Cause I'm like, okay, Minerva, you need to like either do this or don't cause you need to like be moving on. So that's kind of where I am. I'm just like, <sighs> you know, so it's, it's, it's so hard when you really want it and you're not finding coaches to do it with you. Yeah. And I just keep telling myself, just keep showing up right now because in January, you know, nobody's oh. showing up. And like, I listened to that podcast from Melanie Mitro who said, you know, just keep offering value, doing free stuff. If, even if you have to, as a fallback so that people know that you care, they're here in January, they're going to be like, okay, I know she gave me a lot of free stuff. Um, and so, you know, they'll, they'll think of me in January. Yeah. I'm just trying to be positive about it because like literally, and I th feel like doing an hour a day really isn't enough if you want to move like forward. Yeah. I don't feel like that. Like, I feel like I need to be doing like two hours seriously if I want to move, like, like we're talking about moving in this, you know, this whole history makers. I feel like I need to be like doing income producing activities for two hours, you know, that's, and so I don't, so that's, what do you think about that? Like, do you think that that's more realistic? No, I, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think that when you first start out, when you're just getting to diamond, you're talking to people like an hour a day is, is enough. It truly is. But when you're wanting to like level up and do more than that, yeah, you need to up, up the time you're spending on doing stuff with connecting. I think I still think connecting is the most important thing, like connecting and showing love on other people's stuff is going to be, especially like you just said, right now, this time of the year, showing up for yourself and connecting and making those connections with people and friendships. And then these people are going to trust you because we all know that everybody wants to start something new come January. They just do. So you just got to keep going and just don't compare your journey and whether it's with the business or whatever it is to other people, but and just run with the people that are running with you. Like if you have people that are building, run with them while you're still connecting and bringing new people onto your team. Because if you do that this year, next year, elite is going to be way more possible because you hustled the end of the year. It's going to be so much better. Okay. Cause elite is a two-year program. Yeah. Um, do, you, do you know of anybody cozy who would make like a good, virtual assistant because I need to I need to hire help like literally I'm I'm up from like four to like I get home usually around eight or nine and I'm like no time for myself so like I'm doing my business activity early in the morning or like I find an hour in the evening but I'm at the point where I have to if I want to grow and connect I need to like find somebody well do you know of anybody or anybody on your team who might yeah, I'm not the person to ask because I just okay. the person working my Instagram. I'll look, uh, I can do okay. <laughs> so maybe ask in like the diamond page or something. That's okay. right. Or even team inspiration and ask and see if people okay. have ideas to do that. Because yeah, okay. I think while you're at work and stuff to have somebody, even if they connected with people one hour a day would be super beneficial. Yeah, me too. So, yeah, Thanks. So yeah, Sue, how much time do you put into connecting each day? I spend at least an hour just connecting, nothing else. So just FYI. So yeah. Okay, Callie. 
patient okay. waiting. <laughs> All right. Um, actually, I don't normally do these group things. <laughs> I'll be honest. You're like, this is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I, I hit diamond quick and then I kept my diamond for like a year and a half. And then I like struggled to like find builders. Like I was like a solid diamond forever. And then like the week before you guys posted this, like I lost my diamond after a year and a half. <laughs> oh, so you're like... <laughs> uh this is a sign maybe so that was why I did it but I don't know I just struggle to find builders like I always hit success club like my challenge groups are awesome like I can find challenge challengers yeah like, do you talk about like okay so if your challengers are amazing do you invite them to coaching you do and they're just no do you talk about coaching? Or They're always, I couldn't do what you do and I couldn't post. So I was like, well, you don't have to do what I do. <laughs> yeah. Everyone but, can do it how they want. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, I go finding builders. Like, like I said, like I've always hit success club. My challenge group, I feel like is super awesome. There's like 80 people that actively participate. That is awesome. <laughs> but none of them like want to run with the business. So. Yeah. So, and I mean, I swear the worst spot is from diamond to like one and two star. That's like the, yeah. worst. for me, that was the worst spot, but mm -hmm. I would just up like so many people talk about like, be almost annoyingly talking about coaching on your, on your, yeah. cause I, I've been trying to like talk more my challenge group about it. And like people who I think would make awesome coaches. Well, I've talked to all of them, but <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. Continue to do that because how many times do people ask us to coach or ask us to do things and we say, no, no, no. Yeah. And one time they're like, okay, yeah, I want to do it. But I would just up your talking about coaching just in general, whether it's in your challenge group or on your page, whatever it is in your posts, talk about it every single day. I know I need, I need two more, but then it's like hard to talk about it when I don't have like people doing it. <laughs> yeah, no, but nobody, you know I mean? knows, that. nobody knows. I know. I know no one knows that, but it's still like, awkward it's like oh you're like I feel like I'm lying I promise <laughs> yeah. I have an awesome team but no one's doing anything <laughs> and I think that that's so like because I've totally thought that I'm like some top coaches I'm like dang they must be literally killing it and then you go to their like you hear them talk at like mm -hmm. summit or leadership or whatever and you go to their Instagram and they're getting like 40 likes on their posts and I'm like dang yeah so I just think so much of it is is behind the scenes and sh sharing with people like how awesome it is. And if you don't believe that it's so awesome, you're not going to find the mm -hmm. to believe it too. So you yeah. just have to, I mean, yeah. fake it a little bit and <laughs> don't, I mean, people don't fake it forever because people will see that eventually. But mm -hmm. sometimes if you just need to like talk it up, then do yeah. it. That's how people are going to want to join you. But if you're kind of yeah. just, like, it's good do to do, do like beat around the bush type of stuff, then people aren't going to join you. You know yeah, I, mean? I definitely need to just talk about coaching more. Yeah. I think because I do always talk about my challenge group, that's why I find challengers. But yeah, 100%. It's so true. We okay. get what we talk about. So yeah. Which is easy because that just comes naturally and it's good. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So I would like just try this week to really focus on just talking about coaching more and just see yeah. and get your diamond back. And then I feel like that too is like a confidence <laughs> thing. Because if you feel like, hey, I was diamond for so long and I dropped, like, mm -hmm. you feel weird about it. I get it. It's yeah. Well, I think I just, like, got comfortable. Like, I was okay just being diamond for yeah. so long. Yeah. And then I lost it and was like, <laughs> like crap. Yeah. So get yep. your diamond back and then just literally up talking about coaching. Yeah. And just be patient. It's not going to happen. Yes. Right. We all know that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You guys have a good little group. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, do you guys have any other, well, I guess it's time, but next week, I don't know who you'll have. <laughs> so just kick butt this week. So you have lots of good stuff to tell them. Okay. So have a good day you guys or night. Have a good night guys. Thanks Cozy. Yep. See ya.